Hello everybody, Eric here, and I'm going to show you how to get the choir bell here in the Nightmare of Mensis, uh, just after Murgo's uh, uh, base uh, lamppost there. Okay, just killed, uh, um, what's his name, in the Nightmare of Mensis, and now uh, you're ready to take, uh, take on Murgo's wet nurse area. Okay, but there is this hole in the wall down here. You take this uh, contraption down, you can see a hole in the wall, kind of a secret passage or whatever. Take it and uh, go this way. All right. There are these mind flares here. I did try to beat them, you know, by trying to trying to use sedatives and try to, uh, you know, fight them. But it wasn't uh, paying off. Uh, just wasting a lot of sedative sedatives. I did pick up the one item I found in this area right about. This item's right about here. Okay. But the next time I came through here for the video here, I just decided to run through and uh, heal up after one frenzy hit. Okay, you can also kill these spiders if you like. I did that before, so I'm not going to bother for the video. And we just head down this way. Okay, so we're going to pull around the corner here, and we can see there's a contraption in the distance. Now, that's not actually where we're going to end up. We're going to end up down the hole to the left there. Uh, this contraption, you can pull it. I already pulled it, uh, so I'm not going to do it in this video. Uh, you can. I'm not going to spoil what happens. You can do that for yourself. Um, I couldn't quite figure out what happened anyway when it uh, did go. There's a cutscene or whatever. Uh, so do that yourself. Uh, there's a slimy thing, I guess, that's on the uh, chain or something. Anyway, that's not what we're doing here. We're going to try to go down this hole. Okay, I just went, I just ran uh, to, I guess, I don't know which way it is, to the left, I guess, here. And then uh, voided the spiders and ran across here and just went straight for the chest while I was getting frenzied by the mind flare that's down there. There's a mind flare down there to the right there. You can sort of see his shadow. Or light, uh, there he is. Okay, so anyway, I died uh, here getting the choir bell. But that's how you get it. I don't know if there's anything else down there. As I just did the one trip down there. I did try to come back again after taking a look at the description here. The description basically just says that it's the uh, bell that you can ring uh, during co-op and all the cooperators get healed. So. Uh, you can actually heal just yourself if you want. Uh, you're a cooperator at all times, even if you don't have anybody with you. So that's interesting. I can show you how that works uh, right away here, because uh, as soon as I tried to go back down there to find out if anything else was down there, I got invaded. So uh, let's see what happens here with this uh, invader. Uh, Zero Saber 9396 has arrived. Okay. Uh, I started out doing pretty good against this guy. Um, I did try the choir bell though at the start, so maybe he felt that that was healing. I don't know. I didn't really have that much of a health benefit from it, but anyway, I just wanted to try it to see if it worked, and it did. And it didn't heal him, I don't believe. So that's a good thing for PvP. All right. Uh, he goes over there and tries to get the elevator down. I don't know if he was trying to go down or if he was trying to prevent me from using the elevator, but. Turns out he was just about on death's door uh, first. Notwithstanding, uh, I think he heals here and uh, pulls off a parry and then that's the end of the video. Yeah, I got him down pretty good here and I was just about ready to finish him off. And then he does the heal right there. So I would have I would have finished him off there if he hadn't healed, but whatever. He got the he got the parry and that's the end of the video. <laughs> All right, well that's it for the choir bell. At least you find out how to get it. Okay, thanks for watching.